Greetings, everyone. I am Josh Aranum, and I'm bringing you Elmer and the Hippos by David McKee. Elmer, the patchwork elephant, was having a friendly chat with Lion and Tiger when three angry elephants came by. Elmer, said one, the hippos have come to live here. Tell them to go, Elmer, said the second. There isn't room for them and us. What if they don't want to go, asked Elmer. Tell them we'll make them, said the third elephant. Hmm, said Elmer. Let me talk to them. Hello, hippos, said Elmer. Elmer, 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 said the hippos. Elmer, said one. We know we're not wanted here, but our river is dried up and we have to have a river. Make yourself at home, said Elmer. I'll speak to the elephants. Elmer told the elephants about the hippo's problem. Imagine if our river dried up, he said. The elephants Thank agreed to let the hippo stay, but grumbled grumble, because grumble, the grumble, river grumble. would be crowded. I'll take a look at the river, said Elmer. The hippo's river was completely dry. Strange, thought Elmer. I wonder what happened. He set off along the dry riverbed. At last he came to some cliffs. The gap where the river normally flowed, was blocked by a pile of rocks. The rocks fell and stopped the river, the bird said. Move the rocks and the river will flow again, thought Elmer. But that means a lot of work. On his way home, Elmer visited his cousin Wilbur. Come on, Wilbur, he said. I need your help. Good, Good said the elephants when they heard the news. The hippos can move the rocks, get the river back, and go home. It will take them ages, said Wilbur. They don't have trunks. Still, they can stay here and use the river. An elephant said, If we get help, it will soon be done. Right, said Elmer. Get a good night's sleep. We'll start early in the morning. The next morning, Elmer called the hippos. Come on, we're going to get your river back. Are you feeling strong? The elephants and hippos were soon bragging about how strong they were as they marched along. When they saw the rocks, the bragging stopped and they set to work, pushing and pulling the rocks from the gap. As the pile became smaller, the elephants and hippos all became dustier. I love a nice dip in the river now, said an elephant. <laughs> Keep working and you'll soon be able to, <laughs> laughed Elmer. Some time later, the hippo shouted, Water! As the first trickle came through the rocks. Careful, said Wilbur. It will come with a rush. It did. The water suddenly poured through, pushing the last of the rocks out of the way. Cheering and laughing, they all plunged into the river and forgot their tiredness as they washed off the dust and played in the water. When they finally parted, the hippos thanked the elephants and said, Yeah, we'll visit us anytime. You, you too, too, said the elephants. Anytime. anytime. Later, Elmer said, You were all pretty friendly with the hippos at the end. Of course, said an elephant. Besides, imagine if our river dried up. The end. Thank you all so much for following along. If you like this and other relongs, including Elmer, Pete the Cat, and other series, like and subscribe so you don't miss out. Thanks, and have a safe and happy day.